Hi everybody. Happy, happy National Chocolate Moose Day. It is Ch National Chocolate Moose Day and I've been so excited to do this day with you. Um, I've never made chocolate mousse before so this is my first attempt but it looks really easy so I think I could do it. Um, Alright, first I'm going to follow this recipe here that I found online. Uh, we're going to double the recipe so hope it goes well. Uh, we're going to start with a half a cup of chocolate chips and then we're going to turn this on to a lower temperature. So we don't want it to burn. Alright, nice close up of those chips kiddo. Alright, we're going to add two tablespoons of water. So we're going to get that melting, all melty. And this shouldn't take too long to get these chocolate chips melted. But while they're doing that, while they're melting, I'm going to separate the eggs because we only need the egg yolks for this. So, here's my egg separating skills to the test. I'm not off to a good start here, but I can make it work. Come on. There we go. There's one egg yolk. Oh, that one's better. I learned how to separate eggs at a very young age. There! And we don't need the whites, so we're going to get rid of the whites. We don't need those. So I'm going to grab a towel, wipe the egg off my hands. That's really gross. Alright, so we got our two egg yolks. We're going to go, we're going to beat those just a little bit. We're not ready for those yet. So, chocolate chips are starting to melt. Once they really start melting, it won't take long for them to get how we want them. I love chocolate anything. I think I sat and ate an entire half of a chocolate bunny yesterday left over from my Easter basket. <sighs> yeah, that was that was a really smart thing to do. But you, know, you get started on it and the next thing you know, it's gone. So there. See that didn't take long at all. It's not going to take long to cool off because we're going to need to cool this off. Alright. There. So, we're going to take a little bit of this and pour it into the egg yolk. Just a little. There, we're going to mix that up just a bit. Grab this, and we're going to pour this back into the pan. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but I'm just following directions. There. I always thought making chocolate mousse was a hard thing to do, but it looked really simple when I looked at the directions. So, all right, we're going to let this cook for about two minutes until it thickens up a little bit. Set our timer for two minutes. There. And I hope it doesn't get too hot. I know I want to cook the yolk, but I also want it to cool down kind of fast. All right. There. So. Anyway, I've got my menu ready for the next couple of weeks. We've got some exciting things coming. We've got a couple of special days coming up. Saturday is National Empanada Day, so we'll be making empanadas. Um, we've got, what else is coming up? 
National Grilled Cheese Day is coming up. Love that. So maybe we'll make a fun grilled cheese. I don't know yet. But we'll be planning all of that stuff through the next, the whole year. I'm excited. I'll be making some cocktails. All sorts of fun stuff. I do like making cocktails. I was a bartender at one time and enjoyed creating those kind of things. I'm just no good with drunk people. All right, Whew, that is cooking there. It's boiling, it's boiling. We don't want it to boil. We just want it to heat up and cook that egg a little bit. Folding in our whipping cream, our whipped cream. You get all that chocolate and goodness out of there. I don't want to waste any of it. So the original recipe is for two servings. I doubled it for four servings. And I bet you they are very small servings. So we're going to whip that up, mix that up a little bit, cool it off. There. All right. Cool off there. We'll come back over to our whipping cream. Oh, it's getting nice and thick. So we're going to add our two tablespoons of sugar. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. We're going to get that whipped really good. So when this is done, we want it to come to some nice, soft, stiff peaks. Um, and once that's done, we're going to fold it into our chocolate, and that will make our mousse. Make it nice and airy and fluffy, because I like things fluffy. They say that waiting for a wash pot to boil is bad. Waiting for whipped cream to stiffen up is really, really bad. But it's getting there. Not taking as long as I thought it would, but. <coughs> Now it's coming together really nicely. 
I really don't think we're gonna get four servings out of this, maybe four bite-sized servings. But we're not gonna get four real people servings. There, now it's coming together. That's looking like whipped cream. Test it now. Almost there. Almost. to look. Nice and stiff. Got a nice piece there. All right. And this should be, oh that's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that. All right, so we're going to take this whipping cream and we're going to fold it into our chocolate. There we go. That is our chocolate mousse. And once we get this mixed up, it'll be good to go. But we're going to say goodbye for now because I'm running out of storage on my phone. So there's our chocolate mousse and thank you.